Okay, well, hi there. In this Adobe Anime tutorial, I'm going to show you how to start adding more letters to a name animation. So this is a little bit similar to my previous tutorial. Uh, I've simplified it a little bit. So let's say I've got the J from my name coming down here. I want to stay organized once again by double clicking on layer one and calling this letter J. Oh, I can't add a space. Letter J. Press enter and there's my enemy. It's a little fast. If I wanted to extend this motion tween, I can just go down to my timeline and extend this. Maybe I want this to last for a little bit longer. I'll press enter on my keyboard and there's my J coming in. When that J lands, I want a second letter to appear. So the letter O. So I like to stay organized and animate with layers. So I'm gonna click here and add a new layer. Call this letter O. And I want the O to start coming down at this point. To let Animate know that, I'm gonna right click and insert a blank keyframe. When I do that, I'm telling Animate, okay, I want that letter to show up there. So, I am gonna grab my text tool. I'm gonna have, click over here, put the letter O. So I have the O over here. I'm gonna click Modify, Convert to Symbol. O. Insert motion tween. So again, Adobe Animate doesn't like to add frames here, but you can tell it's different. It's got kind of that yellow hue on it. I'm going to go down to the second mark. I'm going to right click. I'm going to insert a frame and I'm going to drag this O over here. Okay. So if I go back to my animation now, my J is going to come down and then my O is gonna go across. Now you'll notice that the J disappears. Why does that happen? Well, if you look in letter J layer, the J only lasts to there. So if I wanted to stop moving and then stay there, I need to add a frame over here. So I'm gonna right click here and add another frame and just extend that J over. So now when my animation comes down, J comes across and the O. They're not totally lined up, so I'm going to click back on my O layer and bring the O closer in. Okay, so I've got a simple animation here with the next letter. Obviously, let's say I want the letter S to come in. I'm going to create a new layer, a letter S. Maybe I want it to appear here. So remember, right click, insert blank keyframe. Maybe I want it to spiral in from the corner. S, click on that S, modify, convert to symbol, S, enter, insert, motion tween. Again, animate's not creating those frames for me. I'm gonna right click over here, insert a keyframe, or insert a frame, and I'll drag this S down here. Same thing happens here. I'm missing these frames from my other two letters, and I'm gonna keep those there. I'll go back to my letter S, and I want the S to appear there. And use my cursors to make it more even. Remember, if I click on that line, I could also make it rotate. And I want that to rotate. Clockwise, sure. So now when I look at my animation, my O is gonna come over and my S is gonna fly in. If I wanted to make it more interesting, let's say I wanted to do a fade of the letter E. Right here, I'm gonna insert a blank keyframe. Grab my text tool. Let's say I want the E to magically appear here. I'm gonna click insert motion tween. And then I'm gonna want it to motion tween to about the five second mark. Right click, insert frame. Now, what I can do here, oops, I forgot to convert this to a symbol. Now, when I click on the end here, I'm gonna move it slightly to the right. I want it to move slightly over. 
And then I'm going to click on that E, and under Color Effects, I'm going to choose an alpha of 100. And then at the beginning, I'm going to click on the letter E, and under Color Effects for alpha, I'm going to have it 0. So watch what that's going to do. I'm going to press Enter. The E is going to... Oops, I'm going to go to the end again. So I need to make the alpha 100 at the end. And at the beginning, it's a zero. Now let's see what happens. There we go, it's gonna fade in. So once again, I need to add frames here because I gotta make sure my other letters are there. And there we go, let's see the beginning, what that looks like. Great. So that's just a simple name animation. Uh, I could add some more things here. I could grab all the letters and make them move if I wanted to. Uh, if you wanted to suddenly do something with all these letters, I could highlight them all, edit, copy. I could add a new layer. I could throw them in over here. Okay, and then maybe I'm gonna do something like frame by frame animation. So um, I could take a picture Maybe the J is going to go up a bit. Maybe the O is going to go down a bit. Maybe the S is going to go up. E is going to go to the right. Maybe I'll add another frame. J is going to go up. O is going to go down. S goes up. E goes right. Add another frame. So there's lots of variations you could do uh, to make your name animation look interesting. You can make letters disappear. You could have them spinning around. So now my ending is gonna be kind of like a little movement there. So hopefully this helps you out with your name animation today and have fun with Adobe Animate.